Do you also have huge address data sets that you need to geocode? We have a solution for you with our geocoding app where you can geocode your customer, supplier or warehouse locations quickly and precisely. This app offers two options to translate addresses into coordinates and vice versa. Let's find out how this works. Geocoding app is the perfect starting point of nearly every supply chain planning project. You can use here forward geocoding to translate addresses into coordinates. For this app, we use OpenStreet engine behind. I will show you now how you can translate addresses into coordinates. For the country column, it is recommended to use ISO 2 code if you have it. If you only provide data for the country, the location will be found in the center of the country. In case you know the national state or region of your country, you can provide that as well, so the translation will be moved to the center of the state. The same applies for the rest of the columns. If you provide postal codes, your location will be in the center of the zip. If you have the city, it will be in the center of the city. And if you specify a street with exact number, you will get the most precise location. So, the more details you provide, the more accurate the translation will be. Now, I want to show you that translation also depends on spelling and that engine is case sensitive. Let's see that on practical example. We're searching for coordinates for Moscow. Here, in the first row, we added country Russia and the city Moscow. The country that has been found is Russia and as you can see, the engine recognizes ISO 2 codes. The city that has been found is Moscow. In the second row, we spelled city name Moscow and the city that is found is spelled the same. For both of these options, the coordinates that are found are the same. So what is the difference? The difference lies in validation quality. Validation quality shows accuracy of translation and goes from one where address can't be found up to 100, which means that it is 100% accurate. The engine is comparing your inputs with what is found. That is why in the first case, where spelling Moscow is different, the validation quality is 83. And when spelling is the same, validation quality is 100. But in both cases, locations are properly geocoded. If we try to get the coordinates for Istanbul, using the same country spelling Turkey, but writing the city with first uppercase and rest lowercase versus writing the city with all capital letters, we'll get different validation qualities. Let's see the results here. The country that we are searching is Turkey, and we found a Turkey with ISO 2 code. Also, the found name is the same, but all is spelled in first uppercase, rest lowercase. That is why when compared with city spelled in capital letters, validation quality is significantly lower. On the other side, both addresses are translated to the same coordinates, but with low validation quality, and the reason is spelling of country Turkey. If you use ISO 2 code for Turkey and don't use caps lock when typing the name of the city, validation quality should be 100. The level of accuracy of your geocoding results also depends on ISO 2 code that you choose to input for one country. I will show you this situation in the case of Great Britain and United Kingdom. I typed in the country column GB and UK and in the zip column zip AB for both options. Let's see what we got as a result. For ISO 2 code GB, we got parsed country GB and parsed zip AB10 that is similar to the one we provided in input data, which is why the validation quality is high. For ISO 2 code UK, we got parsed country GB and parsed zip, which is completely different than the one we were trying to find. That is the reason why the validation quality in this case is very low. In this practical example, we showed you it's better to use GB code instead of UK 
so you could get much more accurate results. Sometimes it may happen that you have the coordinates and you want to know where they are located. In that case, you can use reverse geocoding to translate coordinates into addresses. In the input data, you have table coordinates and two mandatory columns, latitude and longitude. Let's calculate this to get the results in Excel. Now let's see where the coordinates are located. In the results for all the coordinates, we have parsed country. For some of the coordinates, we even have some details such as city where they are located. While for some others, we also have the details of the street. The translated addresses or translated coordinates can be visualized on a map. We use here MyMaps platform to visualize the results. Here you got your locations and by clicking on any of them, you can see some details regarding these locations. The map is completely customizable. And if you want to know more about maps, click on the link in the description of this video to watch the tutorial how to create, style, save and share these data-driven maps. What have you learned today and what are the benefits of Geocoding app? First of all, you get high-performance geocoding engine directly in Excel. Then you can convert addresses into coordinates and vice versa worldwide. You have amazing opportunity also to translate more than 10,000 addresses in one run. And you can identify your locations with high accuracy. If you didn't have a chance to install our apps, I definitely suggest you watch our video how to install supply chain apps using local and online Excel. And now, what is the next most important thing you ask? Of course, to subscribe so you can keep in touch with our tutorials and many interesting topics. Feel free to ask any question you want and you can write those questions in the comments below this video. We are here to always answer on all of them.